so that I don't have the money to pay for the bankruptcy, what do I do? Well, she can try and file the case herself, which I would never recommend. It's kind of like cutting your own hair or doing your own I cut my tailoring. Own hair. You do? No. Okay, <laughs> didn't think so. Um, that, you can also try for uh, legal aid. There are Legal aid, aid does uh, bankruptcies? Uh, at a very small level. Uh, but the best thing to do is get on a payment plan, work some kind of deal where you're not spending a lot, but you're getting the representation, and then once you pay the fees off, whether it takes a month or several months, uh, the attorney will pull the trigger on the filing at that point. And again, remember I told you, once you hire an attorney, you get some immediate protection from your creditors in terms of uh, your attorney will handle your creditor call. So the minute you hire an attorney, you should be afforded some sort of relief, which is worth it. And then just make your payments. Do what you can do. So uh, attorneys out there will let people make payments toward their uh, Chapter 7 bankruptcy? Oh, absolutely. This is, this is bankruptcy. People well, don't have money to, to throw down why a won't ton they of money in a case. Why won't they file it and then allow me to make payments while it's going on for that 110 days? Well, it's a little bit risky uh, because if the attorney files your case and doesn't have an agreement in place as to what's going to happen after filing, then the debt is technically eliminated. And then the attorney cannot even pursue or bill you for the debt. So the attorney fee becomes much like another debt, a credit card bill, a medical bill, a personal loan. It's eliminated in the bankruptcy. Therefore, the client would be able to make voluntary payments. But if the client chose not to make voluntary payments, the debt's discharged, and the attorney is basically working for free. So you're out And of that luck. wouldn't be fair either, right? Right. It, no, sure wouldn't.